Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Hello, Cheap Shot Nation. This is take two because Josh gave us spoilers in the first take. I am your host, Luke, and I'm here with Josh. Hello. And hopefully he won't mention anything about what's going off in the plot this time. Anyway, you're joining us on Quick Shot Reviews or the podcast, which is coming out very soon. I'm going to start putting things on a podcast for people to listen to as well as watch the video cast as well. Uh, we've just been to see Lightyear and yeah. uh, uh, it's a 2022 film uh, by Disney, obviously. And all uh, films Disney nowadays. Oh yeah, most films are, are absolutely Disney, yeah. Um, obviously based on the popular Toy Story character of the same name. Yeah. But this one is billed as the film which got Andy into the Buzz Lightyear so action it's sort of figure like a prequel yeah action figure in in the first place so there's lots of references to popular culture as well as you could expect from disney and we do make it look quite old as well it does look like it would have been yeah. made in the 90s so this is the basic plot while spending years attempting to return home rune space ranger buzz lightyear encounters an army of ruthless robots commanded by zerg who are attempting to steal a fuel source. And a lot of that is um, down to Buzz, uh, trying to uh, get to get back home. They crash landed on a planet and uh, it's doing all the tests. Very, very reminiscent of the new Top Gun film, I thought, that little bit. Well, Um, I was thinking that could make a good Tom Cruise live action film. Um, and uh, it, it uh, stars Chris Evans as Buzz Lightyear. Chris Evans wasn't Buzz Lightyear in there. No, it wasn't. But then again, I think the original man who played Buzz Lightyear is probably... Dead. No, he's not dead. Uh, caught up in controversies surrounding Hollywood at the moment anyway. Um, can only speculate on that. I can't, can't accumulate or anything. But Chris uh, Evans doesn't normally do. Kiki Palmer does the voice of Izzy Hawthorne. Peter Son plays Socks. Socks is cool. Taika Waititi plays Mo. Dale Souls plays Darby. Uh, James Brolin plays Zerg. And uh, yeah, Mary McDonald plays Ivan. There's very much take on uh, uh, Siri and Alexa. Um, but yeah, I'm um, going to go into the main part of the video. Like I say, this was released in 2022. And if you want to hear our thoughts on that, please join us there. But make sure you click the subscribe button and like the video, share the podcast, do whatever you want to feel or feel like you need to do. But most of all, make up your own minds. We'll see you in the main part of the video. So as we've already gone through, gone through most of the cast, um, I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but it definitely wasn't the original voice for Lightyear. No, but, it was a different voice. Um, trying to, Tim Allen, that's who played yeah, the original one. Tim Allen, yeah. Um, and isn't he in some sort of controversy at the minute? I, I, I don't know. It, it rings a bell that he might be, because um, it is sort of that kind of era. But. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll get we'll go around that anyway. Um, Chris Evans does a good job yeah. playing Chris it. Chris Evans is a good actor. Yeah, does a good job playing the uh, playing the character. I uh, do think he could have done with being live action. No, I don't think he would have been good as live action. Um, obviously, the character changed ever so slightly because it's not based on the toy. Yeah, so the toy is based with- on. 
so the you character. can get away with having a different voice. Like. So it's yeah, you can get away with having a different voice. You can get away with them being very ever so slightly different, um, and and doing that. But yeah, there's there's a couple of twists in this. Yeah. Um, the favourite character of mine, particularly, was Socks. I thought I thought yeah, that was great. Um, and the play on our modern society now yeah as they would have seen it potentially you know 30 years ago when Toy Story came out well, it was based in 2042 wasn't it yeah but I mean there's lots of references to how we are now isn't there oh yeah Socks being one of them and Ivan <laughs> being Siri the main and... the main plot from sorting it out, a lot of sci-fi geeks will understand it. There's lots of references to. It's very sci-fi. Isn't yeah, it? lots of references to sci-fi. Um, even the even the captain's log sort of yeah. thing that he does, which people will know about from the Toy Story movies anyway. Is that a spoiler? No, because they'll know no, about no, it no, from I'm Toy Story to movies. What I was going to say next is a spoiler, but I think it is. If you think it's a spoiler, don't say okay. it. Anyway. <laughs> um, I think we're both agreed on this one. Yeah, excellent yeah. film. Yeah, very I good. think I think you should actually go and watch this one. I think it's very nostalgic. I think it's one for the parents. Yeah, the parents. I think parents it's one for it one for well. the one for the adults rather than the kids. I will say one thing: some of the kids were a bit loud in there. But you well, you got to expect that, that from going film. to a kids' film in the it's middle of the day on a it's Sunday. It's rated PG. Yeah, so if you don't um, want your kids it's, any it's, violence. Dis- it's Disney. It's mild violence. It's nothing else. There's no. Like violence as we would see it, it's Lots just lasers and stuff, and spaceships. So, and and the best part was when I was walking out. One of the kids actually had a Buzz Lightyear Toy. action figure, yeah. and it just it made me smile. <laughs> it made me smile because that kid was was me thirty years ago yeah. uh, when I went to go and see thirty the years ago. Do you mean three months ago? Look, I told you I'd give you your Buzz Lightyear back, Josh. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I think, you know, my, my rating is definitely go and see this. Go and see this film. Um, but ultimately make up your own mind. Um, no doubt it will be on uh, certain streaming channels <laughs> sooner rather than later, but at least... Oh, it'll be on that, Sky. That, that's that certain dis, that certain streaming channel, uh, Disney Plus. Yes, you can send me a free membership if you want to. Um, is no doubt going to put this on very soon. But oh, they, at, least they, at least at least if at least they've changed the the tax on things since yeah. lockdown. They used to put it on Disney Plus at the same time it was released in the cinema, and then you had to pay for it. Um, at least they've changed that now and they're putting things in the cinema first and then releasing them on Disney Plus yeah. so the cinema can get something out of it as well, which I absolutely I, 100% I agree save with. Save the cinema, man. Save the cinema. Um, there's no better experience. You can have a 100-inch TV on your wall, but it won't match what you can get in a cinema. Absolutely not. So, yeah, my like I say, my rating is go and watch this, definitely. Uh, if you've got kids, if you haven't got kids and you're just nostalgic for uh, Toy Story and Tom Hanks greatness. Tom Hanks was in it. I was a bit annoyed about that. It's about space, Josh. Yeah, he could have got Woody in there somewhere. Where? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, probably if I watched it again, there might even be a reference in there. He might be sat on the desk of someone's I bet space ring. I, I, I wasn't somewhere. paying that much attention. You know, thinking about it, it'd be a bit of an oversight if he wasn't, wouldn't he? Wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be a big, or if he pulled the strings and. Although Woody's a big guy, I'm not sure he'd be able to sit on a desk. Well, it'd be a toy, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting that toy. One of oh, our friends is called yeah, Woody. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, you wouldn't know that until I've just told you anyway. But yeah, go and watch it. Uh, make up your own minds. Let us know what you thought in the comments section. Go to social media, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And, uh, yeah, just let us know. If you go and see this film, let us know what you think. Start the conversations. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching and or listening. Goodbye.